Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Do you secretly aspire to get glitzed up in those sequins and tassels and strut your stuff around the dance floor, but have two left feet and no time whatsoever to attend classes? Look no further. Our series of ballroom and Latin dance videos are the solution. In this video, we're going to teach you the basic steps for the follower for the quick step. A fun, lively and alert dance which evolved in the 1920s from a combination of the Foxtrot and Charleston, among others. This is Martin Grocott with his student Zandra. Martin has been teaching ballroom and Latin dance for over 20 years and has been competing at an international level since the age of 11. He's performed in countries such as Australia, Great Britain, Austria and Germany to name but a few. Before you can start skimming across the dance floor, Make sure you're wearing something similar to loose trousers and a top are fine and a pair of reasonably high heeled shoes. Step 1. The back and forward basic steps. Martin will be demonstrating the follower steps along with Zandra to set the right directions. To start, step back onto your left foot, side onto the right, close the left foot in and step side onto the right. Then step forward onto the left foot, side onto the right, close the left foot in and step side onto the right. Let's see that again. Step back onto your left foot, side onto the right, close the left foot in and step side onto the right. Step forward onto the left foot, side onto the right, close the left foot in and step side onto the right. Now try the sequence a little faster. Back left, side right, close left and side right, front left, side right, close left, side right. And here's what it looks like danced with a partner to the quick step tempo. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Step two, continue the basics. These steps are the same as before, but the directions will change a little. So starting with your weight on the right foot to the side, step back onto the left foot, side onto the right, close the left in and step side onto the right. Then step forward onto the left foot, side onto the right, close the left to the right and step side onto the right. Let's see that again. Step back onto the left foot, side onto the right, Close the left in and step side onto the right. Then step forward onto the left foot, side onto the right, close the left to the right and step side onto the right. Now try the sequence a little faster. Back left, side right, close left, side right, front left, side right, close left, side right. And this is what it looks like danced with a partner. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Step three, the lock step and basics to finish. So starting with your right foot to the side, step back onto the left foot, then back onto the right and cross the left foot in front of the right. Now step back onto the right foot, then back onto the left, side onto the right, close the left in and step side onto the right again. Let's see that one more time. Step back onto the left, back onto the right and cross the left in front of the right. Step back onto the right, back onto the left, side onto the right, close the left in and step side onto the right. Now have a go at speeding the sequence up a little. Back left, Back right, cross left, back right, back left, side right, close left and side right. And here's what it looks like danced with a partner. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. To finish, let's see the complete version danced with a partner. This is what you should aim for. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, outside, quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, step, step, lock, step, step, 
quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. So all that's left now is for you to grab a partner and get practicing. If you're interested in seeing this from your partner's point of view, watch our video on the basic steps for the leader. And don't forget to follow the complete series of films on the quick step to learn more key moves, about the do's and don'ts, and how to improve your technique.